Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ, with daily insight on the NASDAQ 100 Index, or the NDX, which is made up of 100 of the largest domestic and international non-financial innovative companies listed right here on the NASDAQ stock market. The NDX has been the barometer for U.S. large cap growth and also one of the best performing indexes over the last decade and a half. Let's take a look at our first chart today. The Nasdaq 100 is trading slightly lower with less than two hours to go into the market close as U.S. equities remain hostage to any headlines pertaining to trade deal with the U.S. and China. Top performers on the index include JD.com, Biogen, Trip.com, Baidu, and Lulu. Our second chart, Biogen. That was up as high as 4% after the biotech firm offered more data on its late stage Alzheimer drug. Analysts who parsed through it say the lack of any new negatives in the report means they expect the company will take the data to the FDA. Our final chart of the afternoon, we have Lulu. Revenue growth has helped its stock price surge more than 80% this year. Take a look at that year-to-date chart. It's quite incredible. As the company looks to expand in areas like menswear, e-commerce, and international sales. Analysts over at Cowan, they raised their price target for the stock to about 250 on Tuesday, saying that Nike's valuation provides a roadmap for Lulu's future growth with a clear path to reaching a $40 billion market cap. The current market cap is about $29 billion right now. Growing menswear and international businesses, that's going to be the key driver to future sales growth. They also noted that customers are still highly loyal to the athleisure brand. Just take a look at my closet. Note Lululemon, they report on December 11th after the close. From the NASDAQ market site in New York City, I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.